Here we have an example that tells ask or ask us uh, to solve this equation. So our equation says 5 raised to the 1 minus 2x equals 1 fifth. And I think I'll write that over here maybe just a little bit better so you can see that that is in fact an exponent. All right, so we have this equation. Now, the problem here is that we have trouble solving for x when it's in an exponent. I mean, you think about what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be solving, which means we get x equals something. It's very difficult to get x equals something when x is way up in an exponent. So there has to be some way of dealing with that. Well, a while ago we talked about some rules and we had one that said if a to the u equals a to the v then a, um, u rather has to equal v. If the bases are the same the exponents must equal each other. So if there's some way that I could get these bases to be the exact same thing then I know the exponents have to be the same also. This is where all of your rules, your exponent rules, come into play. You are not allowed to um, add, subtract, multiply, or divide both sides by anything. You're not allowed to change this equation. You're only allowed to rewrite it. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. Looking at these at the left and the right side, I can see that both of them um, are so close to 5. It's, it, I, just, I, I see that. I see a 5 here and a 5 here. Is there some way that I could turn 1 fifth into a 5 rather than a 1 fifth? Now remember, we're not going to be able to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. We can only rewrite it. Write it in another form, I guess would be a better way of saying it. What if, um, over here I have 5 to the 1 minus 2x power. What if I were to write that as 5 to the negative 1? Would that be the exact same thing as 1 fifth? Yes, it is. Because remember, your negative exponent means the reciprocal. So do you see what I did here? I didn't really change it. I just rewrote it in another way. That is allowed. Nothing else is allowed. You have to simply rewrite your number in a different fashion. But now, because of doing that, look, our bases are the exact same which means our exponents have to equal each other. They have to be the exact same thing, otherwise this isn't a true statement. So that means 1 minus 2x must be the same thing as negative 1. And that's a simpler equation to solve. So I could move my 1 over, which would give me negative 2x equals negative 2. And then dividing both sides by negative 2, we would get x equals 1. Now we could check this. Um, we absolutely could. If I were to put in a 1 in place of x, that would be 5 to the 1 minus 2 times 1 power, which would be 5 to the 1 minus 2 power, which would be 5 to the negative 1. That is 1 fifth, so both sides actually are the exact same. That's kind of our check on ourselves.